Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about how we organize our one bedroom with the baby. Okay, you've probably clicked on this video because you live in a small space and you're expecting a baby and you don't know how to organize yourself. First of all, we already did a nursery nook video where we made the room all pretty and did the like surface layer stuff for the baby. I will be sure to link that video here and down below. But I am just like you. I live in a New York City apartment in a one bedroom with myself, my cat, my partner, and then we had a baby. And I had to figure out how to make us all fit. It all started with this Ikea Pax, which is holding a lot of stuff. So let's dig into how I'm organizing this one bedroom apartment. As a new mom, business owner, and YouTube celebrity, <laughs> I am always looking for ways to make life easier, learn a new skill, figure out a tip or a trick, and that is why I love Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes taught by other creatives. It's a great way to explore a new skill, deepen an existing passion, or get lost in creativity. We all love attending YouTube University, but Skillshare's classes are ad-free, so they are really curated specifically for learning. I've watched classes on Skillshare on how to make better YouTube videos, money management basics, and even an interior styling class with Emily Henderson. There are literally thousands of different classes available on Skillshare. One question I'm always being asked by people in my life in real life and people on Instagram is how to finish off a space. I am always in search of more information on home decor and so this is why this class specifically will be good for both you guys and myself. Style your space, creative tips and techniques for interior design taught by Emily Henderson is an excellent class when it comes to learning tips and tricks, as it says, for home styling. One part of the class that I really enjoyed was the style quiz. Lots of people have trouble identifying exactly what their interior design style is. Emily gives you a little quiz in this class to help you more clearly define that for yourself, along with excellent tips and techniques for home styling. Exciting news! Right now, you can try a premium Skillshare membership completely free. The first 1,000 people to click the link down in my description get access to all of the classes available on Skillshare, including their new live classes. With their live classes, you are learning real time with some of Skillshare's most popular instructors and connecting with other Skillshare users at the same time. I wanna say a very big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. You know what this is, this is our PAX. We got this probably over a year ago now and when we got it, so it wasn't a year ago because I knew I was pregnant. And in the video, which I will link here and down in the description where we organized this PAX sneakily, we left two drawers empty because we knew that those two drawers were gonna be earmarked for the baby. So gonna show you how we're using those two drawers and how we're using the little changing table that we added to the room. So we're gonna start in the packs and let me show you. This side of the packs is basically Sean's packs. If you saw that packs video, then you know the idea behind the packs was mostly for Sean's stuff. So Sean's stuff lives up here. We're kind of sharing this pullout for our like scents and for like scents and um, lip gloss and lotion and that kind of thing. But then these first true drawers here are both for the baby. So let's get into them. So most of the baby's clothes live in this top drawer. Now I have in here organizers that I got from Ikea along with smaller bins that I was gifted and I've just grouped like things together so that they're easy to find although dad still has issues but that's okay <laughs> dads have issues um in this first little bin that's kind of empty because laundry is always a thing we have his like in the house onesies so these onesies are like plain white in here we have like first mom's day which is like okay well we can't really wear that outside anymore maybe they're 
on the fringe of being a little too small, but we still can squeeze in them and it's okay when we're in the house. That's what we have in this first bin. Behind that bin, I have bibs, which we've kind of graduated to, along with a couple of extra binkies that, um, if I'm honest, Cash does not like binkies, but these are either haven't pulled them out or they're for when he's a little bit older. In the front, I have hats. Hats of all, summer hats, winter hats, bonnets, just hats. In this first little drawer, I have our favorite or preferred burp cloths. These just came in a pack of 10 from Amazon. Anything that I can link, I will link in the description below. Behind that, I have socks and one little pair of shoes. Here's a pro tip. Baby shoes, you don't got to buy them. Don't waste your money. <laughs> Never going to wear them. <laughs> Feet not touching the ground, but socks. Behind that, I have, um, it's summertime, so we haven't really had to use it, so I've pushed it to the back. These are long sleeve um, and long leg, like pants and sleeve sleepers. Some with the foot in, some not, but like for much colder temperatures, but we'll see when it starts to get cold if he can still fit any of these. Next to that, I have tucked just some overflow from those sleepers and a sleep sack, which if I'm honest, we're not using. It was for the snoo. We used the snoo for a little while, um, but we ended up getting rid of it. I'm going to do a baby products I love and regret video, uh, and the snoo is on there, and I will share my thoughts. Next, we have a bin with just, before the summertime got like full swing, we were still having a couple of like weird temperature days. So these are long sleeves and pants, um, things that he can fit now, but just a few because it's summertime. And this little one, I have shorts tucked right here. I have his little swimsuit. And then this larger bin here is mainly where all of his like outside clothes go his like outfits his um you know like the looks you know we're serving looks we're serving we're serving two pieces you know what i'm saying we've got shorts we've got tops we've got this terry cloth number that we haven't worn yet but i'm very excited to get into we've got looks you wear that today i think it's a little cold for this today because we were going we're going to brooklyn today i was thinking he goes Really? You know what I'm saying? We go streetwear. <laughs> streetwear today. Not preppy kid, but like streetwear. And we've got those little um those little socks that look like laces up, laced up shoes. This is what I'm thinking for the kid today. Because if he doesn't wear a soon, he won't be able to fit it. Because this is a oh no, this is six months. That looks little. Anyway, kids grow out of clothes really fast. Another pro tip, take hand-me-downs. This, this is a hand-me-down. Take hand-me-downs because the kids grow so fast and don't buy too much they're not going anywhere <laughs> this should really be reversed but these are where we keep his clothes and then in this little bin back here i have our like plan b burp cloths like are just not preferred but like still very functional um, burp cloths so that is what is living in this first top drawer okay hold on bless you bless, bless you buddy. Baby woke up from his nap, probably because we were loud talking in the room. <laughs> so we've got a visitor for the rest of the video. We're telling the people how we organ. Okay. You don't care? We're telling the people how we organize your stuff. Okay, and on to the second drawer. In this drawer is more stuff and not clothes. Um, we have most of his books here and stacked up here. There also are a few outside in the living room. Oh, we should show them our little bin in the living room as well. But there, there's here's our book collection. Back here we have some shoes. Um, like I said, baby shoes, guys. We have some shoes that were gifted to us along with this viewfinder. <laughs> if you guys remember, I went to we went to Hudson right early in my pregnancy and we got this from a vintage store like oh we'll get it for the baby uh, we also have some more shoes some extra toys that we haven't dug into yet in one of these bins toys and then because it's summertime 
we have our blankets kind of here. We're really only using a blanket um, at night. I've kind of quilled it down, even though it might not look like it, but I've put some other ones away in storage. But we have some blankets here, and then in the back, just a couple more like stuffed animals that we just haven't graduated to yet. Like he just doesn't really care about a stuffed animal just yet. And that is what we're keeping in the two drawers. So also in the bins up top above the packs, I have one bin that I'm storing the like next size up for him, which would be like six to nine months. I also have a bin for stuff that he grows out of so that we can put it into storage. Uh, and then a bin with just like some extra pieces and parts to toys, again, that we just haven't grown into yet. Some like feeding, like dishes uh, and that kind of stuff. So like upcoming and growing out of just to get, keep it out of the way, but also keep it handy. So over in the nursery nook, <laughs> if you saw that video, you saw us add this piece here. I don't know if you saw the video, but all three knobs are here. Yay. Um, so in here, this is like our overflow and our like changing table. So in this top drawer, we have all of our diapering needs. We have all of our wipes here. I prefer the water wipes and it's the green ones. They are textured for bigger messes. And I'm like, why would I not just want the ones for bigger messes? And we just put them on an Amazon delivery like schedule. So I have all my wipes. I have diapers in one of those um, bins from Ikea. I have changing pad liners, like extras of these. I was using these mostly um, for him when it was cooler, when he was a newborn, because this is plastic and you know, it'll get cold. Um, but this Kikaru changing pad is wipeable, so you really don't need this. But we've just been in the habit of using them because we've just been in the habit. So extra ones of those. And then we use just a little bit of cornstarch dusting powder on baby's tushy to keep diaper rash at bay. So I have an extra one of those um, as well as wipes and powder on the top of the changing table. In the second drawer... This is like his toiletries drawer. In here, I've got towels, washcloths, um, travel packs of wipes, an extra wet bag, brushes, combs, um, baby sunscreen, uh, Wendy's for the tushy, nose Frida's, uh, lotion, just like toiletries. <laughs> extra I got these as a travel we traveled to uh, Myrtle Beach and I took these because we baby laundry is a thing and they were perfect for travel so that's something you can do with your samples uh, but yeah just like toiletries things in the store again all separated by with Ikea bins that I talked about in one of my hauls when we were prepping for baby in this bottom drawer, it's mostly linens. I do also have our swim diapers because cash has been in the water this summer. So I have our swim diapers in here. I have our travel uh, white noise machine. I have extra uh, changing, this is a changing pad. And then I have crib sheets. Um, we had, like I said, we had a snoo and then we had um, our Moses basket really with those bassinets. The one kind of ovally kind of sheet will fit everything. So I have some bassinet sheets, baby blankets, both gifted and purchased back here. And then some, um, these are bassinet waterproof covers, just linens, basically. Linens and things that we're like not really using right now. Nanit plugs kind of stuck down here. There's a screw. There's a screw that's giving us trouble back in there. So that drawer, yeah. Okay. Whew. Okay, I had to put the baby down for one second. And then under here, we're just storing extra diapers underneath the changing table, just tucking things away. Then if you come right over here, we've got our laundry basket that's doing its job. And then tucked in this little area next to our crib, we have more diapers <laughs> just kind of tucked back there because it's the perfect spot to hide them out of the way. 
in this little storage thing bear in mind the bottom half is full of mommy stuff we won't talk about it but in these two bins this one I have full of bottles that were hand-me-downs bottles that came free in those registry things my haka that honestly I haven't really used but that's for another video um, sanitizing bags also uh, so that's like bottles and then this top one is full of breastfeeding uh, things I got a hand-me-down willow and that's really what's in here willow parts uh, mother's milk tea some um, womb womb tea for when I was still pregnant things that I should probably pack up because I'm not really using them but my plan is to eventually pack those things away and put uh, our books book storage here I'll have to keep one for bottles because you know but book storage is my plan for there uh, and lastly in the living room because unfortunately the baby does not say confined to those drawers I keep this little bin under the table and it's an easy way to keep the toys and things corralled at least now while he's little so in here we have more books never any selections of books the snowy day one of my favorites I also have in here a changing pad in case we don't feel like taking him into the room to change his diaper or one of those parents are catching up on some much needed sleep. When we're doing diaper changes out here, we just use the diapers that are in our diaper bag that we keep by the door. But we do have some wipes in here that we keep just for here. Then we have a selection of toys. Loved every play kit toys are kind of our absolute fave. He's playing with one of the teething rings now. It's like he's showing you. <laughs> we also have this little rolly number and we have this little rattle. One is in the bedroom that goes with this little ball. It's another like chew toy. The little giraffe that like the internet's gonna tell you your baby has to have. And then this thing which is just visually interesting, you know, some toys. We also keep our Love Every play mat out here. We tuck the arch parts under the chair and we fold the mat up and stick it in our mama room. But in here, we keep the little attachment to make the leg stand up and we also keep the little cards in here. So everything is out here for baby to keep him entertained. We'll put some cocoa melon on the television, those big eyed babies. He's very much into those. Uh, and this just lives under the coffee table. And for now, that is how we are organizing ourselves in this small space with our little baby. He's only four months old right now. We know we'll have to make some changes as time goes on, but that's what we're doing for now and it's really working for us. Also in here, I will keep my breast pump because when I'm pumping, I like to just watch TV. Okay, if this is the first video that you've joined us for, I hope that you'll consider subscribing, sticking around for more, checking out a playlist of baby stuff that we've done. I'll link it here and down in the description. And down in the description, we have remade over just about every room in this apartment. So I'll stick that playlist down there as well. If you have any questions, tips, tricks, let it be a conversation down in the comments and I'll be sure to get in there and reply when I can. And thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Can you say bye, Cash? Bye, Cash. Oh, I never introduced the baby. This is my son, Cassius. Thanks for watching. <laughs> bye. Can you say bye? You can say hiccup. Hiccup. <laughs>